Welcome to Celestial Chronicles. In today's video, we're diving deep into the fascinating history of Christianity. We'll explore how it started, the key figures involved, and how it spread across the globe to become one of the world's largest religions. So, sit back, relax, and join us on this historical journey. The Beginnings of Christianity Christianity began over 2,000 years ago in a small region of the Middle East known as Judea, which is part of modern-day Israel and Palestine. This area was under Roman rule, and the Jewish people, who lived there, were awaiting a promised Savior, or Messiah. This is where our story starts. The Birth of Jesus The central figure in Christianity is Jesus of Nazareth. According to Christian belief, Jesus was born to Mary and Joseph in the town of Bethlehem. Christians believe that Jesus was not just an ordinary man, but the Son of God, born of a virgin. His birth is celebrated every year on December 25 as Christmas. Jesus' life and teachings form the foundation of Christianity. He began his public ministry around the age of 30, preaching about love, compassion, and forgiveness. Jesus performed many miracles, such as healing the sick and feeding thousands with just a few loaves of bread and fish. Jesus' Teachings and Disciples Jesus taught through parables, which are simple stories that convey deeper moral or spiritual lessons. Some of his most famous teachings include the Sermon on the Mount, where he delivered the Beatitudes, and the Parable of the Good Samaritan, which teaches love and kindness to all, regardless of their background. Jesus gathered a group of twelve close followers known as disciples. These disciples played a crucial role in spreading Jesus' teachings after his death. Among them were Peter, who became the leader of the early Christian church, and John, who is believed to have written several books of the New Testament, the Crucifixion and Resurrection. The turning point in Christianity came with Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection. Jesus was arrested by the Roman authorities, tried, and sentenced to death by crucifixion, a common form of execution at the time. Christians believe that Jesus' death was a sacrifice for the sins of humanity, and his resurrection three days later proved his divine nature. The resurrection of Jesus is celebrated every year on Easter Sunday. It's a cornerstone of Christian faith, symbolizing the victory over sin and death and the promise of eternal life for believers. The Spread of Christianity After Jesus' resurrection and ascension into heaven, his disciples began to spread his teachings. This was the beginning of the early Christian church, and its growth was rapid and far-reaching. The Role of the Apostles The apostles, particularly Peter and Paul, were instrumental in the spread of Christianity. Peter is often considered the first pope, and he focused on spreading Jesus' message among the Jewish people. Paul, on the other hand, played a crucial role in taking Christianity to the Gentiles, or non-Jews. Paul's missionary journeys took him across the Roman Empire, establishing Christian communities and writing letters, many of which are part of the New Testament. Persecution and Martyrdom In its early years, Christianity faced significant opposition and persecution. Roman authorities viewed Christians with suspicion, often because they refused to worship Roman gods and the emperor. Many Christians were martyred for their faith, including Peter and Paul. Despite this, or perhaps because of it, Christianity continued to grow. The courage and faith of the martyrs inspired many others to convert. The communal and supportive nature of the early Christian communities also attracted people. The Rise of the Christian Church The turning point for Christianity came in the 4th century with the conversion of Emperor Constantine. Constantine's Edict of Milan in 313 AD granted religious tolerance throughout the Roman Empire and ended the persecution of Christians. The Council of Nicaea In 325 AD, Constantine called the Council of Nicaea, where Christian leaders gathered to establish a unified doctrine. The Nicene Creed, a statement of Christian faith, was created during this council. It addressed key theological issues and helped unify the Church. The Spread Beyond the Roman Empire with the support of the Roman Empire, Christianity spread rapidly across Europe and beyond. Missionaries traveled to distant lands, translating the Bible into various languages and establishing churches. Figures like Augustine of Hippo and Jerome played crucial roles in developing Christian theology and biblical scholarship. The Medieval Church During the Middle Ages, Christianity became the dominant religion in Europe. The Church played a central role in society, influencing politics, education, and culture. Monasteries became centers of learning and preservation of knowledge. The Great Schism In 1054, a significant event known as the Great Schism divided Christianity into two branches, the Roman Catholic Church in the West and the Eastern Orthodox Church in the East. This split was due to theological, political, and cultural differences. The Reformation In the 16th century, a movement called the Reformation brought about significant changes in Christianity. 
led by figures like Martin Luther and John Calvin, the Reformation challenged the practices and doctrines of the Catholic Church. This led to the creation of Protestant denominations, which emphasized personal faith and the authority of the Bible. Christianity in the Modern Era Christianity continued to evolve and spread throughout the modern era. The age of exploration in the 15th and 16th centuries saw European missionaries travel to the Americas, Africa, and Asia, spreading Christianity to new regions. The Enlightenment and Beyond The Enlightenment in the 17th and 18th centuries brought about a shift in thinking. Science and reason began to challenge traditional religious beliefs. Despite this, Christianity adapted and continued to thrive, with various movements like Methodism and Evangelicalism emerging. Christianity Today Today, Christianity is the world's largest religion, with over 2 billion followers. It has a diverse range of denominations, including Catholicism, Protestantism, Orthodoxy, and numerous independent churches. The Role of Christianity in Society Christianity continues to play a significant role in many aspects of society. It influences art, culture, and politics, and its teachings continue to inspire acts of charity and social justice around the world. Ecumenism and Interfaith Dialogue In recent times, there has been a growing movement towards ecumenism, which seeks to promote unity among different Christian denominations. There is also increased dialogue between Christianity and other world religions, fostering mutual understanding and respect. Conclusion From its humble beginnings in a small corner of the Roman Empire, Christianity has grown to become a global faith, influencing billions of lives. Its history is rich with stories of faith, perseverance, and transformation. Whether you are a believer or simply interested in history, the story of Christianity offers valuable insights into the development of human civilization. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of Christianity. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more fascinating historical explorations. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.